<laughs> I'm going to tell you, I do feel compassion for all of those people that would like to have a library. But I am also a taxpayer of Gates County. Uh, I'm a financial person, and I have always, always been challenged by the fact of spending your money wisely. And honestly, I sit here today, and, it, and, it, and I feel compassion for Kenny and some of these others that want this too. But ladies and gentlemen, we did not do our homework. We did not. To me, here's $100,000 right here. I'd rather have that in square footage. I know how to get there. Mm -hmm. I presented something to you tonight, and I, I, like I said, I, I'd like for you to go out there and take a look. Just go look. We don't have to spend this $100,000. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. We don't spend seven. We committed seven, and now we want another hundred. Mm -hmm. The way I'm reading. You know, I'm smart enough to do research myself. Yes. To figure out some of these things and, and ask a guy like this person that did this, hey, this is what I want. And he's got it included in the price. Why do I need somebody to do it? I don't need anybody from Raleigh to tell me that. Do you know how many talented people we have in Gates County? I do. I know several people in this county right now. I mean, they're, um, they're very small. And if they don't know something, they know who to ask that it don't cost a hundred grand or seventy grand. <laughs> we don't need that. This is about leadership. Poor leadership. Amen. And I'm going to tell you, there's some other things on the table like this. Yes, it is. Hell yep. When I was out there in this community, going around campaigning, I listened to what people had to say. And I listened. And I'm doing exactly what I heard. I am protecting you, the citizen of Gates County, the taxpayer citizen. And as I told you, I'm not focused on any small group. That's not my cup of tea. The only way we're going to win is we're going to win together, just like the young lady just said. Yes. It takes teamwork. Now, we can have our disagreements. And believe me, I'm going to voice my opinion. Mm -hmm. But 20% of the people won't dictate to me what I do. <laughs> they will not. And I will not spend your money on my own. I promise you. I'm only one vote, 20 percent. Takes three to win. I'll move forward. But John Hoare will not move forward unless I'm 100 percent satisfied that you, the citizens of Gates County, are being protected and you're getting what you want. That's all of it, not just a few of it. It's important to me. I take pride in myself of carrying the ball for the team. Mm -hmm. I want to win. I don't want to lose. And we can win. But I've showed you a path that we can all win. And an economical path. All we got to do is take the ball and be willing to move it forward. <coughs> and I, I asked you to assist to challenge these guys up here. Let's do that. We can go. Let's win. Let's win together. And I do appreciate each and every one of you coming out tonight, those that are forward or have questions. It's important that you do this. Take interest in your government. And as Mr. Harold just said, hey, this is happening all over this country. Everybody talks about Republicans and Democrats, but I'm going to tell you, this is the way it is. And I made this comment one time before. It's this. The government is over there. The people are over here. And you know where the Republicans and Democrats are? They're over there. <laughs> They're on the right side. That's the way that bar, and when you vote Republican or Democrat, the bar, the bar slants on it, but it don't move on the vertical plane. It's 
time that the people voice gets heard and do the right thing. So when you go to the polls and you vote for people, don't look at whether they're a Republican or Democrat. That means absolutely nothing. Look at their conscience, their track record. See how they protect you, the citizens. As Mr. Harold just said, there's about less than 600 people in this country are dictating what happens to you. You have opportunity to go vote for them. So don't just take it for granted. Do your research about the person that you elect. Look at the background. Look at the track record. I mean, it's important. It's more important today than it ever was. Amen. I can tell you that. Very much so. You want people that move the ball forward to win, not to lose. This is the greatest current country on the face of the earth. And we've let it slide because we've let our manufacturing process go overseas. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I know what I'm talking about. Because that happened to my family. Yes. So I challenge you. Look at your politicians. Look at their track record. Look at their background. And when you go to the polls the vote, look at each one of those names. Don't even look at the side what party they on. That, that's absolutely nothing. You're making a big mistake if you don't look at the people. That's right. That's right. That's right. But again, I appreciate each and every one of you being here tonight. And please come back. Woo!